Guys, one thing though about it, this Georgia sun, oh my gosh, it's breathtaking. Oh my God, it feels so good on my skin. Guys, I would not believe what happened to me. Yo, my life was almost jeopardized. It was like borderline in my kid's life, all four of us. We dead could have had a fire started. No, we, I kept watching the fire. I'm like, why is it so smoky in here? Why is it so foggy in here? Like, I'm like, I know this can't be right. I know. I was so tired. You know, I didn't know what to do. You know, I just started falling asleep. I was trying to get Destiny to sleep because she was, like, getting fussy. You know, trying to keep her head covered from the smoke. Like, because I know, I knew that could not be good for you. So, I, I didn't act, you know. When my mom came down, you know, she acted. Oh, she she did probably save her life. I mean, if that thing was blowing like that all day, that shit could have blew up. I don't know. You know, too much chemicals. And I, oh, my God. Should have took a picture, man. My phone's about to die. I, that was, like, one of the most woo, scary but conscious things in my life. It's like, uh-oh. Uh, this life is so precious. Like, you know, at least, you know, my mom did come down. You know, she's like, are you okay? Oh my God, you guys okay? Is what she said. You know, and she was very calm. You know, when she opened the windows, the doors, she's like, why is it so smoky and foggy in here? Oh my God. Just imagine if that was a ta catastrophe a strategy. Oh my gosh, who would have been on the news? And people probably would have been. <laughs> Probably would have added that go for me ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars already. Oh my god. Uh, no life insurance policy. That's scary to think about. It's like somebody dies, at least we'll have money, you know, to cover the expensive expenses. Yeah, I think that that is very. This this was really an eye opener, like on some real ish. And my mom, she had this window. Like it looked like it was a tree, but it looked like a man looking down at his knee, like like it was God, like covering us, watching us the whole time. Like life is real, guys. If you don't walk in faith and belief and, you know, peace, I really and truly feel like you would, you will not be as covered. You know, more things in life, more bad things in life are more to happen. I think that's so true. It's like last night when I didn't get up to open a window or a door and I was so tired trying to put her to sleep, you know, like things really could have went left. That shit could have blew with all the fog that was up in there. Because it's closed. All that heat is building up. It will cause an explosion. Okay? And, like, that brick held up. Thank God, like, when she came down there, it was already burning for, like, two hours, if not more. Because she came down at, like, 1.30 or something like that. I was, like, halfway asleep. But I do feel like, you know, I should have acted... You know, too. It's like, you know, well, it was a mistake. It was an honest mistake. It really would have been an accident, you know. But this was really an eye opener because I do feel like, what if something did happen and there was an actual fire and we could not get out? I mean, I'm gonna grab my babies if I hear an explosion. You know, do my best. Damn, Darren was knocked out, boy. Like, he was out. And then eventually, Matthias, Matthias was the last one to fall asleep. Elias was the first. But everybody, was, all, the, all the kids was out. And by the time that smoke was so out, I was putting a cover over my face. Like, I don't know, but I should have went to open the door. Like, that, like I said, like I should have did something first. Even though, although she should have been the initial first one to check to make sure that it was open. But see, she wasn't thinking. Like, I had to get out that house today. It was, like, just so smoky. Like, oh, my God. It's, it's not a good situation, guys. Yeah, my family in Florida, you know, everybody's old down there. Don't nobody go see my granddaddy and them because 
this witch over there. You got people in fucking Pine Hills, Crime Hills. Like, why I want to be in the hood so bad? Like, see, this place where I'm at, like, this really don't feel like the hood. This feels like more of a middle class, you know, neighborhood. I, I feel pretty safe. You know, I haven't seen any, like, I saw one car, two cars pulled him. The first car pulled him by accident and went across the street to the gate. So, I don't, I'm sure that was like a GPS mix-up. They made the wrong turn, you know. But it's like, it's true. You do have to be suspicious of people. You have to be aware of your surroundings. Things. But overall, guys, I just want to come in here and share my story and my experience of what just happened today. And say that I really do believe that if there was an accident any time in life and the family member was to pass away, you know, you would at least be able to cover the expenses to have you buried you know i definitely want to get um like what's gonna happen when i die i just want to be buried in the ground you know i don't want them to burn my body like i don't i don't want to burn i mean we're all gonna burn anyway you know to dust we shall return that's what it says in the bible so hey when i die when i don't have no no heartbeat left no more blood flowing in my bones you know, it's very me. All I ask is that my family will be there, my kids, you know. I don't know. Just depend on how I die, I guess. If I don't die peacefully, an old age, oh, I don't know. We're all going to die eventually. That's, that's the hard fact about it. We're just like on hopes that we die you know, to live a good life, you know, enjoy this life the best that we can, enjoy this nature, you know, God's creation, that's all I want to do, and that, and for that, I am thankful, because I do, at the end of the day, have freedom, you know, to come out in the world, and actually be somebody, be a mom, be a wife, like, even if you're not those things, you still are somebody. That's the most important thing at the end of the day. It don't matter if you, what you haven't achieved yet. Every day you achieve being alive, being here, getting out in the sun. It don't matter if you didn't go to school for, you know, your dream job or whatever you thought your dream job was. And you'll appreciate your life now, now that, it, that you hear that you have it. And still just work on it better. To be better every single day. I feel like that's something I'm really taking out. You know. And appreciating. Life. My husband's life. My daughter's life. All three of the boys' lives. Like. My life is important. And I feel like. You know. If I was gone. Their life wouldn't be as good as. You know. Because I don't feel like. Nobody's gonna go as hard for that nobody whoa <laughs> that's one thing a lot of us mothers oh man we do we go hard for our kids nobody can tell us nothing most of the time it comes to our kids like you know that that's the crazy part about it that really is i know that for me i know some moms okay it's different some women really resent their kids and hate their kids that's not the case for me. You know, yes, I made some mistakes in the past. So I was making the wrong decisions with having sex with somebody um, who didn't give a damn, who was ruthless, worthless, you know, didn't care about me or his seeds on a continuous basis, not show any kind of care or interest in the world. Like on a day to day. It's like every day you check on your child. I just don't I just don't see how men do it. Men, I guess <sighs> black men, Hispanic men, white men too, man. They do it too. All races do it. I know I have one man, a good man at home. I know he's still there. Still waiting. Still exercising, working out. You know, 
doing what he needs to do to better himself. And that's like one of the most important things. I know that I'm so grateful and thankful for today. Knowing that I can just go back home and he'll be there. I was like, damn, what if not? What if he won't be there? What if he's like, I'm tired of your shit? What if he leaves me? You know? Then what I'm gonna do? Uh, leave me with, with four kids and his daughter? I don't, I don't ever think or feel and know for a fact that he would never do that. You know? He told me that. But he told me. I believe him. <laughs> Hope so. I just need to better myself, better my attitude. We all do as a whole. Us females who are grown 25 and up, especially, you know, we need to teach the next generation. That's definitely and indefinitely what's important right now. You know, teach better decisions, actions, you know, how to treat people nice and kind. And that's what I'm raising for my and doing for my kids. I hope that's what you're doing for your kids as well. So. Like I said, I just wanted to get out here real quick, share my little experience that I just had that was like a real eye-opener, you know, third eye shocker. You got to open that shit, and I did just that. So, if you are still here, I thank you for watching, and, you know, I appreciate you. You hear the train in the background? Like I said, Georgia, the scenery is impeccable. I said, this was like a middle class, safe neighborhood. You know, where it don't get too packed. You know, but it's got space. You know, if you have a dog, you know, you bring your dog out here. Like, you don't really have much distraction. You still hear nature. Like, oh my gosh. Look at that tree. That tree is just so big and beautiful. Let me turn this around. Peace, guys.